Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to our Open Up Live talk show. My name is Madhusha Kalamenin, and I'm a media coordinator at The Voice of Men 360, and I am currently a voice training and voice coach with my school, Kalavian Voice Academy. I want to start by talking to all of you who are here today with us about Voice of Men 360 and what we do and some of our goals and motives. So we are actually known as a nonprofit organization founded in 2020 and based from Toronto, Canada, serving worldwide. Voice of Men 360 was actually born from seeing the tremendous need and stepping up to provide services to help and support and overcome the hurdles and challenges of life that men and boys face. We are part of International Men's Day and proudly known that International Men's Day has been serving for over 21 years so far and for over 90 countries around the world, which have joined together to conduct various activities regularly. So IMD follows six pillars, which is known for the overall well-being of boys and men, and we also aim to follow in those same footsteps. So many of you who are watching with us right now might be wondering about what this Open Up show is or why we conduct this. So we actually conduct this to help men and boys be able to open up about matters that they feel that they might not be able to necessarily share with other communities or other individuals as comfortably. So we try to create this open space as many of them are not able to share or open their hearts um, in other spaces. Um, and we try to keep their emotional challenges um, free to be expressed here without keeping them within themselves. Um, so we try to create a positive space, as I mentioned, and something that improves your health while you're able to open up and be free about your, um, your personal matters. So we create this open space in order to have them share with their life journey. Um, and this is done through our platforms, again, through Voice of Men 360, which can be accessed um, through lots of different social media means, which I'm going to discuss a little bit later today. And we aim to create awareness about life challenges, like I said, struggles, hurdles, overcomes. And these are some things that are constantly known to be faced by boys and men. And perhaps maybe you can relate with these situations. Hence, one great part is that we have no limitations in terms of gender, age, nationality, ethnicity, or um, religious faith, etc. So all walks of life are welcome to participate. Um, so if you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to us, or if you're interested in participating, please feel free to reach out, and I'll be also giving the contact information later onwards. Um, our overall goal is to make a very positive impact on someone's life through this program. So Open Up is going to be always on Sundays, hosted at 10 a.m. in Eastern Time. So we bring uh, an individual to the show typically who is able to share their life experiences with you and we hope that you'd be able to take something good from it as well. So before I introduce our special guest today, um, I just wanna quickly go through our disclaimer and I have one special announcement for all of you. So we would just like to remind you at this time that Voice of Men 360's mission is always delivered with a good faith and toward a peaceful harmony. The views and opinions expressed in today's episode are those of our speakers and they do not represent Voice of Men 360. Um, our organization engages in discussing for, uh, discussion forums to offer inspiration and create awareness of the issues of men who wish to overcome their life challenges. However, we are not providing any form of medical or therapeutic advice. So, sh should you require any type of that assistance in nature, we recommend that you contact a medical professional immediately. So if you have any further questions or concerns or any feedback you would like to offer about uh, today's episode or any of the Voice of Men 360 content, please feel free to email us at info at voiceofmen360.org. Thank you. So just before I uh, jump into the show, I just want to give one special announcement about um, one of Voice of Men 360's current initiatives that are going on. Um, so I just want to let you all know that we're going to be doing the third global observance. So this is known as a week-long celebration um, in recognition of International Men's Day. So it's a very great initiative. It's going to be taking place from November 13th to the 19th. So each day there's going to be a different time slot. So if you feel like you, you feel like you're avid and you're interested to be a guest or a host of the show, 
please do reach out to us as we're looking for guests from any any form of industries. Um, even if you hail from local grassroots organizations, businesses, you're a professional, an expert, um, medical professionals, media, entertainment, government officials, sports, you name it. So any kind of expertise or any kind of knowledge or support that you would like to offer and you're interested to share, we would we would love to hear from you. So now I want to get into um, the very the big and special part of today's open up, which is our special guest, who is um, Jose Barros. So we want to welcome Jose Barros to our open up show today with Voice of Men 360. And I just want to let you know a little bit about um, Jose. So Jose Barros runs an international marketing agency team and is currently helping others to essentially dream big and at the same time provide protection for people towards their rights and privacy rights through subscription-based services and applications. He is proudly a single dad, single father of two wonderful boys named Dustin and Michael, and his parents are immigrants from Portugal and he can speak Portuguese very fluently. His passions are spiritual spirituality as a Catholic, and he aims to make a difference in people's lives every day through positive thoughts and an abundance of personal development. So I want to bring in our guest today, Jose Barros. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Happy Sunday. Happy Blessed Sunday. Yes. Happy Blessed Sunday to yourself as well and to all our guests with us here online. Thank you. Appreciate the uh, the great introduction. Uh, um, and um, I guess I I should have I, I should have even uh, wrote more. No, <laughs> that, that that was uh, that, that was a little summary, but uh, I appreciate yeah. the introduction and uh, and I appreciate everything that uh, your organization does for uh, helping people. And uh, it's it's that it's absolutely a, a need. Uh, we need to uh, more good yeah. people, more good systems out there, um, putting out uh, positives and uh, putting out lots of uh, ambition for people to, you know, not be afraid to speak, as you said, because yeah. sometimes people are afraid and uh, they shouldn't be afraid, especially if yes. it's in a, in a good area where other people are around, um, that uh, they should not be afraid to be able to speak and uh, tell what's going on with their lives definitely definitely thank you so much um jose for that and uh yeah definitely we're very happy to have you here with us today and we hope to hear about some some great experiences from your journey and things that you can contribute and definitely as i mentioned we want to create that safe space where you know it's a very non-judgmental environment where everyone can feel comfortable and respected for their values and what they bring to the table um, so thank you. We look forward to that. So I want to really start off today by first um, giving you the chance to discuss about your experiences mostly. I did a lot of talking already. Um, so I want to make sure that you're you're going to be speaking um, about your experiences and share about your insights. So I want to ask you at this time um, what you feel are some incidents from your childhood, I guess, that you can recall in your early years that you feel are really inspirational to what you're doing currently today and who that really shaped you into? That's, that's a great question. And uh, actually I was just having that kind of a discussion uh, the other day. Um, my, uh, my background, I guess, like you kind of said that my parents were uh, from Portugal uh, immigrants and uh, they were, they were farmers uh, and uh, I grew up in a, a small town in Leamington, Ontario. Uh, it's actually known as the tomato capital of Canada, or at least it used to be uh, with uh, Heinz Ketchup. And um, so growing up with them, uh, I obviously got the ability to uh, speak a second language of uh, Portuguese. At the time, mm -hmm. I probably didn't uh, appreciate it as much as now I, I do. And um, cause it's always nice to be able to people you know, I, I might see people or run into people and uh, uh, so many times that they're actually speaking Portuguese or Spanish that, that I can understand. And they don't even look twice to think that, oh, uh, this, uh, this tall, uh, dark haired gentleman uh, might actually understand what we're saying. <laughs> so it's actually pretty cool that way. And um, I know I, I picked up a lot of what I am now, uh, I guess, 
being very social, being very uh, related, relating to people and wanting to help people and, mm -hmm. uh, and learn that social part from my father. My, my father was, uh, you know, like I said, an immigrant from, from Portugal, didn't know much, didn't know English, obviously came to Canada with not being able to speak, but mm -hmm. uh, I would go around in, it, in the community with him people just just knew him he'd say hey mr barrows mr barrows or he'd, he'd say hey hi bob hi sue and he just he was just cordial open and i saw that as a young kid and you know sometimes it's like wow yeah why are you talking to these people you don't even know them but at the yeah. same time now and through my my life it actually shaped me that i became easy to be sociable to be able to speak to people and at the same time be connected and you know have no i guess no border no, no fear you know and i know that mm -hmm. that's has been tremendous for my life great that's that's very interesting actually i'm i'm happy that you mentioned um some important aspects um so just recalling on what you were mentioning in your background as growing up you know with your family and uh, the experience of like, you know, working in the field of agri agriculture and getting yep. to speak your mother tongue as being some important values to you. Um, I know that typically most people are not able to relate to that, maybe that experience, but I think it's very unique that you mentioned that about your language. And I want to just further ask you um, right now, what you think um, your language had a role in shaping in terms of like bringing out the comfort for you, I guess, like in in the sense that maybe you would not be as comfortable speaking to a non-Portuguese speaking person who is maybe not able to relate with the same experiences or similar feelings as you. So does that does that make you feel more comfortable sharing your experiences? Absolutely. It uh, it, it, it gave me inner confidence, uh, you know, I, and um, you know, growing up, it was, you know, I did have, I thought had I mean, I'm sure I had some fears. I mean, I was always kind of the, the, the social kid growing up in, in school. You know, we had uh, mm -hmm. events or, you know, being able to talk in front of the room. I, I, would, I didn't have a problem with that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. If we had dances, I was always the one that was out there dancing. You know, mm -hmm. I was the only guy compared to many others that weren't dancing. So I also had that social, but I think I also began, was also a leader because then I also got involved in sports. Uh, played some hockey, but soccer was more my game, and and mm -hmm. uh, I uh, continued to excel in soccer. I uh, got into high school, then uh, and then I guess from the hard work from parents and being uh, uh, learning that leadership from my father, who was also involved in the Portuguese community, who was running the Portuguese club and events, mm -hmm. um, was able to be a leader and became a leader of the uh, soccer team with a coach. You know, I, I wasn't even the, the best player or even the, the senior player, but the mm -hmm. coach came to me, you know what, we need you to be the captain because when you're on the field, those people are following you. You're a hard worker, you're diligent, and so they're going to follow in your footsteps. So that completely helped me, you know, that later on then uh, ended up getting a scholarship uh, to go to the United States, play soccer. So I continued to excel that way, and I think that that background and growing up helped me tremendous. That's great. Um, I think that's that's very um, important that you're you're mentioning how that that social background has really shaped you into someone who is perhaps even able to contribute today. I mean, we're really happy to have you here today, and I know that for a fact that's that's even not easy. Sometimes that's even a hurdle for many people to actually come out and share their experiences. Everyone I feel has something valuable to contribute, but it's not easy to actually bring that to the table. So thank you for mentioning those experiences. And I really hope they do reach out to um, those who are viewing with us today. Um, so next, I want to ask you, um, of course, with your permission, and if you're comfortable, if you can share some memories and experiences um, about how you interacted and grew up as your relationship with your father, and perhaps maybe what you learned from him and how it impacted you. Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, some of the ex experiences, I guess, were kind of like, kind of like what I said about uh, openness and, and how he was able to communicate with people uh, that was able to uh, help me, I guess, my ability to uh, mm -hmm. grow in that sense um, and uh, be a leader. 
um, be able to speak in front of groups and not have that uh, those those concerns and mm -hmm. feeling free and comfortable uh you know even you know to nowadays where you know i'm able to you know speak in front of groups or have presentations and not have that fear um mm -hmm. you know because sometimes people do have fear and i know public speaking is yeah. is uh, one of the biggest fear that people have and people don't want to do those kind of things and uh I agree. But I think it really did shape um how i am now because my father was able to do that and i, I saw him go on stage or get a mic and, and speak and uh, yeah. connect with people and uh, i believe that 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 experience helped me tremendously that's great okay um so i i think that's something very much to appreciate for sure because that's something that you value today and um definitely that characteristic about you being able to speak is what has been able to bring that story forward today so maybe i want to ask you what your recommendations would be or what you could suggest for people who may not have this kind of a supportive environment um growing up so maybe what would you say for boys and men who maybe did not have a fatherly figure or a parental figure who could offer this comfort in socializing and, and communicating your feelings? Yes. Um, some people, as you said, don't have that. Um, and mm. I guess the, 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 the best way is that they have to feel confident about themselves. Um, and I, I know that, um, but um, I know that, you know, many people flown on planes, and I say this many times to uh, the team and uh, people that I'm training, that, uh, you know, when you get on a plane, the, the airline stewardess person says, you know, put on your mask if you're, to save yourself before you're able to save someone else on, maybe on the plane if there's going to be some sort of issue. And that's so true that if we have to save ourselves, we have to find inner peace somehow, belief, you know, even if it's just a sliver uh, and believe in ourselves and, and, and then at the same time, then maybe do some personal development, reading positive books. If you, if you're able to do that, uh, again, try to find some sort of mentor like, or a system like this group is, is, uh, is, would be very good for people, but be able to go to somebody that maybe that you do trust in just a sliver, but even open up a little bit if possible. And uh, uh, even little baby steps, because one little, even if it's one percent, you can improve or change or better yourself every single day. That will be the compound effect that's going to grow. Because, as we know, that you know, that one percent every single day will continue to grow if we can feel positive. But we have to feel positive about ourselves, because if we don't love ourselves, how can we love anybody else? And mm -hmm. uh, that's exactly how that the, the airline industry says, you have to save yourself first. And so we have to believe in ourselves, whatever that little sliver is, and continue to build that every single day and, and be able to find some sort of resources. Maybe it's this, this, this type of a group, positive books, you know, uh, to read and try to make ourselves a better person um, and that will compound if we continue to do it constantly every day because a good habit, if we do it, they say 21 days to 30 days consecutively will we'll yeah. build those, that habit. If it's a good habit, will become a good habit. But right. when we do bad habits, then they, they're, they're not building us. They're, they're going the opposite direction. So that's what okay. I would suggest. Definitely. Thank you so much for sharing such a, um, a very, very rich and detailed ex experience and response to that, because I feel like you mentioned a lot of good things about, you know, developing your personal self, your confidence and searching for that inner peace. So I think those are really important. And uh, also about how you mentioned saving yourself first. I think that's a very uh, crucial aspect that a lot of us forget in the busyness of our lives, that we tend to think that, um, we need to help others. We're always out on a mission to help everyone else, but we forget that we're breaking ourselves and we need to actually keep ourselves strong in order to be able to contribute. 
So that's a really um, great point. So I really appreciate it. I really like what I'm hearing so far. Um, so much valuable insight to offer. And I, and I hope that, again, this is reaching out to everyone. So I just want to uh, take a small break at this time. Uh, we're just going to take a small commercial break, and I'm just going to give up some announcements about some of Voice of Men 360's other initiatives. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying today's open up session and how it's going so far. If you have any feedback, please feel free to put it down in the comments or you can reach out to us, as I mentioned. So uh, first, I want to mention that we have, of course, the open up live show. So this is about sharing the personal life journeys. Um, it takes place, as I mentioned earlier, to those who missed it. It's every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And our second program is known as Viri. So Viri is basically the same thing as Open Up, but we do cater this to the uh, Tamil community. So the Tamil speaking language community, which is also a live talk show as well about life journeys and it takes place every Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we also have a monthly webinar, which takes place on the first Saturdays of every month at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we try to bring in any kind of individuals who have expertise or specific organizations that they're linked with to discuss a special topic each episode. Um, we also have a monthly special show known as the Unspoken Tears, um, very, very pivotal show, which takes place on the second Saturday of every month from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here we aim to focus on domestic violence against men, bullying, male sexual abuse, traumas, porn addictions, and uh, human trafficking. So very sensitive topics, offering great insights on those. And we also have the author circle, where we try to bring in individuals who have any form of experience in contributing to the literary, uh, the literary factor um, of well-being for boys and men through articles, writing books, media, um, social, social groups, gatherings. And we try to recognize them and appreciate their initiatives. And this takes place every third Saturday of the month from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for those of you who might not prefer or be able to reach out through live shows, we also have pre-recorded podcasts, which are available on all six of our platforms, including iPhone, Google Play, and so on. Um, if you have any questions on how to access those or you, you haven't been able to find them, please do reach out to us and we'd be gladly able to help you. And we also have a monthly men's group meeting. So this is um, only for men by men, which is great. Um, because this creates an open, non-judgmental space for those who might not be comfortable with other gendered individuals in the program. Um, and this takes place every two weeks on Tuesdays from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, via Zoom. And for those who are interested in joining, our next one is actually going to be on Tuesday, September 20th. However, I do want to let you know there will be no recordings of this. So you will have to join live through Zoom. And the link will be also available on our Facebook page and group. And lastly, I want to inform you that we have the Pass the Talking Stick um, program as, as well, which is an Indigenous peer-to-peer -peer support group in recognition of the Indigenous community and creating a non-judgmental space for them as well. So hence, as you can see, with the diversity of the programs that we offer through our organization, there are no limitations in terms of gender, age, sexual orientation, nationality, ethnicity, religious walks of life. We welcome every single person with warm arms. So do not hesitate. If you feel interested or you feel like jumping in on any of our initiatives, please do reach out to us. So now um, I appreciate um, us having uh, Jose Barros today with, uh, with us in this uh, open up show. So I want to get back to um, some of his experiences that he was discussing. So for those who may have joined late, um, I want to let you know again that Jose Barros is currently um, working with the uh, International Marketing Agency team and he's helping um, everyone to kind of achieve their dreams and work with their rights. And he's doing this through actually an initiative of subscription based services and applications. So we'd want him to discuss um, more on that today and hopefully shine some light on that. So I want to ask you um, if you can discuss a little bit about what your initiative really works like. Um, what are maybe some of the projects that you're involved in right now and what you've created? Yes. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. I wasn't sure I'd gotten off mute. So yeah, um, yes. So the some of the initiatives that we're doing uh, 
is um, actually um, kind of, again, in the realm of, of, of helping lots of people and having open hearts uh, throughout the world, uh, our organization is um, helped build uh, an orphanage in Guatemala for uh, 30 young girls. Uh, it's mm -hmm. called uh, workplaylove.org. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, through a small group of, of people uh, organized to try to make a difference in people's lives, especially for these uh, girls and, and children uh, who are you know, dealing with lots of issues. Um, we're able to uh, make a difference in their lives. And, and that again, that helps us feel good, but at the same time, because we're able to help so many of them, and even though they're so far away from us, yeah. you know, our, our little dollars compared to, you know, if it was in Canada or in the US would need millions and millions of dollars. But uh, with, with that ability, because it's a, you know, considered obviously a third world country, you know, the hundreds and thousands of dollars that we can uh, help goes a long way to make a difference in those children's lives and uh, makes them uh, live better and, and be able to be more confident about themselves. So that's uh, you know a little bit of our initiative that we're, we're doing. And again, uh, through our company, uh, you know, it's called the PPLSI, be able to mm -hmm. help families, business owners, and people be able to protect their rights, know their rights, privacy uh, rights, obviously identity theft is the, you know, one of the biggest crimes in the world, but through our subscription model, be able to be able to pick and help people know their rights and and not worry about that big fat bill because you know when people don't have options you know uh, you know even just one just getting their will and powers of attorney most people don't have that in place mm -hmm. and and when someone does pass then that just creates you know a, a ripple effect of bad issues throughout people families trying to deal with those kind of things and if someone yeah. just that you know love letter and we like to call it a love letter to make sure that the people that they leave behind know exactly what their wishes were and you know that's that's one small thing that we do uh mm -hmm. to be able to our subscription model that makes a difference and uh but just people just knowing their rights being not being taken advantage of you know their yeah. employer landlord their neighbor you know you know cell phone provider insurance companies you mm -hmm. know not saying that they're all bad but sometimes people do get taken advantage and if they don't have an option what do they what do they do they just accept it but if they knew their rights if they were able to pick up the phone speak to a lawyer an attorney and not worry about the high hourly cost wouldn't it make sense to do that and that's what we do for basically yeah. a dollar a day so it's it's just an amazing service that I became a customer almost 20 years ago, which made sense to me. And then, you know, about 10 years ago, I also got involved with the opportunity to be able to share this with other people. And at the same time, now build an international group of people doing the same thing, mm -hmm. a difference because equal justice under law is just not a reality. Yeah, I agree. Well, oh, thank you so much. It's very nice to hear about um, the initiatives that you're working with currently. And I feel like they're hardly small at all. I think um, that you mentioned uh, that it's a small initiative to work towards helping the, the girls in Guatemala. Um, and I think that's actually a very, very pivotal initiative that, like you said, in our currency, it's very, a very small amount that goes a long way for them and improving their lives. So I think that's a very, um, very, great thing to hear that you you're working on that and also with uh the knowing your rights i think that's a very different perspective that a lot of people don't realize that we are inadvertently taken advantage of just through even like organizations it doesn't have to be through personal relationships and i think that's important that you're bringing that to light and helping people who even for example maybe working with like a language barrier um, maybe people who do not know so much about the the laws in in the country and perhaps are not able to benefit from these rights that we have in place. So that's really great that you um, bring that to the table. And Thanks. I want to ask you, lastly, um, what your advice would be towards 
other boys and men who perhaps are facing um, issues and they feel culturally detached as immigrants when they're immigrating to a country. So since you've been in that situation before, um, how would you feel um, in, in explaining that as an advice? Well, um, thank you. The, uh, I guess the, the, the biggest, uh, uh, I guess, coming to a new place, a new language, new, new, uh, new surroundings, um, mm -hmm. uh, be able to uh, get circles to, that, that are able to help you somehow. Yeah, is it? people mm -hmm. through this maybe it's through uh religious uh following that you have try to find those places that could be safe havens for you in a sense so that uh that you might see like blind minded people like minded uh personalities um and maybe even language speaking personality yeah. so that uh, you're you know you not don't feel like you're uh, you know, uh, you know, sore thumb, you know, in, in, a, in yeah. a wrong spot, you know, you, you can find the right spot and, and be able to circle those, but at the same time, have that inner belief that, that you are a good person. We're all, we're all created for greatness. You just have to find it, but try to find those circles as quickly as possible and as positively as possible. And if they're not positive, then don't, don't go there try to research and find another one you you, you want to but internally build yourself so that when you do connect to, to those people you're becoming a better person they'll see it they'll understand it and then you'll be able to blend in better with those those organizations those groups and uh, mm -hmm. build yourself a better person and and uh, believe in yourself that's what Definitely. I always say keep smiling and believe yeah definitely. Thank you. That's that's very valuable. Um, so for those who are watching with us right now, I really appreciate that Jose has touched on so many important topics today. And most importantly, I think you focused a lot on self-development and how we can emit those positive frequencies where, where they start with us, essentially. So um, starting with us being positive people and being able to emit that that vibration towards our circles, and then that just creates greater positive initiatives. So that's, that's very nice to hear. And I'm very happy with all the um, insights you shared with us today. So many valuable things. So I want to ask you at this time, before we wrap up for today, um, if you have anything else that you feel is valuable or something that you would like to contribute to this show or something you would give us a piece of advice. Um, I guess my, my, my greatest advice is, is to, again, just believe in yourself, but believe in, in who you are, and wanting to become a better person internally, like I said, as you said, yeah. with the personal development, uh, continue to develop yourselves because if we can become a better person internally, then we're gonna be able to expose that to people that we run into, do we see, uh, and if we make ourselves better in the inside, the outside will look, absolutely look even better and sh shine brighter and We'll always be smiling because we're smiling on the inside. And if we're smiling on the inside, yes. we'll see it on the outside. And just believe in yourself. That God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jose. So I definitely feel those that, that positivity from you radiating with myself as well. So I can't imagine the amount of positive impact that it could make for our audience as well, too. And, and hopefully to whoever else this video will reach out to. Um, it's it's very important to have that personal development. And I thank you so much for sharing this journey with us today. And maybe just if you can add on before we wrap up, how anybody could maybe reach out to you or join in with your initiatives if they feel interested to those who might be watching. Sure. Is it? Uh, do you want me just to say them or are we able to put them in the chat? Or? Um, uh, we will definitely, we can add them to the chat as well after, but if you can just uh, say at this time, sure. you know, how people can get in touch with you if they'd like. Oh, absolutely. So it's, um, you can find me on social media through Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. Uh, so under Jose Barrows, hopefully there's probably lots of other Jose's, but maybe we'll find mm -hmm. it. Um, I also, uh, my cell People want to reach me. It's uh, 705 321 7278 uh, 866 235 
9979, which is a toll-free number. And then my business website, which is jgbarros.com. So um, would greatly appreciate uh, any, any connection with people if I can, uh, you know, give them or help them in, in any way, if it's personally, uh, socially, or just be a friend. And maybe just put a smile on their face. That would be awesome. So that, Thank that, you. that makes that when I make a difference that way with people's lives, it makes me internally feel better too. So uh, with that, thanks everyone, and appreciate your amazing uh, uh, system that you have. And uh, I really appreciate you giving me an opportunity to speak today. No problem. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jose, and we appreciate you being here as well too. Uh, you shared, like I said, a lot of valuable insights, and we hope to work with you in future as well, too. So thank you for offering that. So as I mentioned earlier to everyone who is a part of um, Open Up today and those who may be watching afterwards, um, again, there's no limitations to gender, age, nationality, anyone. We welcome everyone with warm arms. And I'm going to give you all the contact information that you need at this time. So if you feel like being a guest on any of our shows or you want to help out even behind the scenes with our organization, um, we are accepting any individuals who have any creative ideas in place, any thought processes that you want to contribute, ideas, suggestions. Um, it can Anything can help to develop our initiative. And we're always looking to help and make the lives of boys and men better. So our phone number is 437-889-8329. Our email address is info at voiceofmen360.org. And our website is also www.voiceofmen360.org. And for those who wish to reach us or are always on touch with social media, you can find us through all platforms. We have a Facebook group page please feel free to join the Voice of Men 360 group page as you can see our daily activities, updates, um, upcoming programs, and you can always invite your friends as well. And I just want to inform everyone who is watching today before I um, mention the last platforms that whatever you've seen or heard today, I do hope that it has made some kind of impact on you. And the most pivotal impact that we strive for with Voice of Men 360 is to share it. So never keep what you've learned to yourself. Always share it. I'm sure there's people you can relate with or share your knowledge with because the knowledge can only grow when we start sharing it. So uh, lastly, our social media platforms is Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. And you can always feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Voice of Men 360, in order to see our shows live in progress. You can contribute and comment in, uh, within them live as well. And you can also watch the post recordings as well. We want to reach out to more and more people and help all of you. So please continue to show your support for Voice of Men 360. And I thank you for those who are part of um, the initiative today. Thank you.